been sent by ComKillServe to Space Station Asgard. My job is to destroy a Scud. I've never had to kill a robot, and I don't know what Asgard is up to, but you can't beat the pay. My case is Scud Heartbreaker Model 1373. Scuds are disposable robot assassins. They're supposed to self-destruct when they kill their first target. This one didn't. Five people before me were hired to kill Scud. Dick's mother's neck was broken. His brother Tom was decapitated. I guess death is hereditary. The other three didn't fare much better. They all found Scud, and they all got killed. Pavlov. Nathan Twist. Even the head of Jane Mansfield. I'm combining the information they gained and loading it into my ultimate weapon. AM minus two. I can send him after Scud from right here, and he's better suited for the job than a human. I'd rather not get my hands dirty with this one. Scud was designed to self-destruct, not to be killed. He's got polysteroid armor, unlimited power supply, and the latest in neural net targeting software. He's also got a will to live, and apparently overrode his own programming. I figure he could have used this beauty to wound his first target so he could stay alive. AM minus two, tell me about Scud's first target. Nobody knows where she came from. She just popped up in the basement of a mannequin factory. She kills everything that moves. The factory closed down. They held a little guy named Herschel responsible for getting rid of the monster. When you want something dead, a gun is as close as the nearest vending machine. But when you want something dead, you're not up to the job. You want more than guns. You want a scud to hold them for you.
Larry's hospital. Can you keep a monster alive so I don't self-destruct? We can do anything for a price. I'm a robot. I got no money. Get a job like the rest of us. I'm not a counselor. Hang on, I got a call. This is Tony Tasty. I got your message. If you want money, go to the prison and whack this guy, Paula Pooey.